Hello, my name is Andreas Drügemüller. I'm product line manager of Linear Guides at Evelix. And today I want to demonstrate you the safe aligning function of our linear ball bearings uh, LBCD series. Here I have brought with me two of the bearings of the same kind. They have the same cage, same ball tolerance, but they are different in the raceway design. One bearing has the straight raceway with a rigid function for high load carrying capacity and the other one has the buckle for the self-aligning function of plus minus 30 minutes of an arc. So this one is more for the higher load carrying capacity and stiff uh, functionality and this one is more for tolerating the misalignment or small uh, tolerances which might occur during the mounting of a complete linear ball bearing set. Uh, I will fix them again here on the surface, no, other way around. Um, and here I have two shafts, all of the same size. I have four housings where these housings are the standard housing equipped and tolerated with the same bearings. But here on this side, it's with the bearing of the rigid version. And here on this side, with the bearings on the self aligning version. And if I'm showing it a bit upside down, uh, all tolerances are the same of the bearing, the functions, the housings, and even on the adjustable housings. Uh, but we want to demonstrate a misalignment in the height of the surface. This plate here, this aluminium plate, is straight until here, where you see the arrows. And here the height is going up one millimeter. One millimeter doesn't look too much, but one millimeter is extreme when it comes to the precision of linear guides. So saying that, when I'm moving the self-aligning bearing and the shaft here, we have a very smooth running performance and the bearing functionality and the linear guide is still working properly and 100% okay. When I'm doing the same on the rigid bearings, you directly hear and see, and if you would do it yourself, you feel uh, the stress inside the bearings because of the misalignment of the one millimeter. That is to demonstrate that the precision in alignment, either in height, in width, and in all tolerance dimensions is important for linear ball bearings and specific also for all linear guides. And that the self-aligning bearing of this type with the buckle on the raceway is still able to cope with that uh, and makes it therefore for a lot of application much more easier to cope with these kind of things where when you want to have a stiff functionality and a very preloaded bearing. Uh, tolerances has to, be in, has to be tight and that it would be also work, but it doesn't work with misaligned surfaces. That is to demonstrate the self-aligning bearing of Evelix. Thanks for listening and have a great day.